had to think on your feet, had to impulsively think, had to trust your instincts, had to be able to connect with exactly what you wanted to say. Something that theater does, something that you'll find in actors who are great public speakers, that's why you see them in conventions like the Republican Democratic Convention standing out in front of a bunch of people. It's not just because they look good. It's because they're connected to their emotions. So they can connect those emotions with what they're talking about. So if you really want to sell me your presentation, I can listen to all of the facts and care about none of them. Unless you are passionate about them. Because if you're not, it may be the greatest thing ever that you won't convince me of that if you're not convinced of it yourself. Or, if at least you can lie well enough to me. I used to have a teacher, an acting teacher, who said, well, Adam, what do you do as an actor? You lie to the audience. It's not necessarily true, but in many ways it is, because I'm not happy. And I'm not going to kill my brother. So I'm going to lie, in a sense, that I am Hamlet. But everything that Hamlet feels and is passionate about, I could identify with. So how can you use your emotions and your feelings about your project and about what you think is great and incorporate them into your interpretation, into excuse me, your presentation? And how can you feel comfortable and excited about getting up and doing it. And there are so many things that you can learn from theater classes and experiences in theater about how to do that. Because you could have a great presentation, but then you actually put some showmanship and some theater into it, and some passion, and some pizzazz, and you've won. Right there. Because you've convinced everybody it's the next, next best thing since sliced bread. Even if it's not. Then you can go to your job interviews and take your interview's position. Then you can interview for colleges and have D averages and get into Yale. Just like, it's not Ferris Bueller, it's Tom Cruise, right? Well, that's a whole different story. But, there are so many benefits from learning how to interact and present yourself, your presentations, and everything that you're going to do that you can gain from a theater experience and that you can learn from a theater experience to make them better. So, that's the base. Everything that you do in a theater classroom is the rehearsal. And each time you get up in front of an experience, an improv situation, or an interaction with another actor, performance in front of an audience, you get better and better. Because many ways in a presentation setting, you are performing. And that's what you have to do. You're going to have to perform your presentation in front of a large group of people. And not only that, you're going to have to get them to believe what you're saying. That is, in a sense, theater. So that's how it can help you. The Playhouse has fantastic teachers that can help you do that. They have people who have studied and trained to do this for years and who have taught this at every age level. And there will be so many benefits that you can have from it that you will not just take from presenting your presentations, but for the rest of your life. That you take forward for the rest of your careers. And you can use those tools and that tool set. Any questions? Great, we're done here. All right, thanks. Good to see you all. Really, any questions? Any questions about anything outside? Okay, then I'm going to ask you questions. How many of you are expecting to have to do a presentation anytime soon? Not even just here, anytime soon. Okay, you raised your hand first. So, do me a favor, tell me your name. Ty. Ty? Okay, Ty, what is your presentation going to be? A um, school project for um, science. Okay, a school project for science. 
Do you have any details on it yet? Okay. Come up here for a second. What do I do? into a prince. Did you guys get that? Yeah. Sure? Because yeah. you didn't say. Yeah. Okay, it was turning a frog in. Because I was focused on the oxygen. On how he was going to do it. Right? Okay. So, what did he say how he was going to do it, and, and what did you think was going to happen? He was going to combine oxygen. Okay, so, time. That wasn't bad. And here's why. You convey the information that you need to convey. Okay? We're going to try one thing. If you don't have to think that you're going to have to work that hard to give a presentation, 
it's probably not going to be very good, right? right? But if you do work that hard, and, and it might be working that hard physically, you might find physical ways to really experience it, and tell it, and show it, and have fun with it yourself, it'd probably be a lot better. Okay, so that's an example, just one small example of how you can go through a series of exercises and experiences and find creative, smart, fun, physical ways to be one, be better at public speaking, and to make your presentation awesome. Right? Excellent job. Good work. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so the idea, the goal, is for those of you that have to do presentations to come and join us at the Playhouse so we can take you through a series of exercises on how you get up onto a table, ha ha ha, about how you can find an exciting, passionate, connected way to present everything that you've discovered and really have a visceral, fantastic, kinetic, physical, emotional, intellectual connection with everybody out there listening to you. Those are the keys. Any other questions? Right? Then I hope to see some of you at the Playhouse. And I know that everybody here at the Works can talk to you about how that can happen. Okay? Adam, how should they contact you? Do you want them to contact you through us, or would you like them to contact you directly? They can, t they can do this either way, because we're going to set up a series of times and we know when, how many people we're going to have, about when it fits in with everybody in the, and the projects that you guys are working on. And a lot of them may want to have that happen as you get closer towards, you know, there'll be a whole rush of people coming in panic-stricken at the end they realize they have to do a project. Um, but you can definitely contact us at the Playhouse, and one of the best ways is through the website at info. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Info at playhouse.org. That's weathervaneplayhouse.org. Or you can talk to anybody involved at the works and they can hook us up with you. Yeah? Thank you. Okay.